that last video I did on the buttons and which buttons are best for Arcade 1UP kind of left me feeling unsettled in the sense that I didn't really have an answer to which button was best. Like I knew that the American style button uh, wasn't feeling great for fighting games, uh, mainly because I've been playing on, you know, high-end fight sticks for years now, and those are all Sanwa. Um, so I really wanted to try Sanwa, uh, and I did end up reaching out to the community to see if they had any tips for getting Sanwas in without drilling. And a lot of people mentioned that they were able to basically put, force a Sanwa button in to the board with a piece of cardboard overlaying it, and then kind of uh, smashing it in. So I attempted that, and you guys will see that, uh, but it didn't work for me. The buttons would not go in no matter how hard I pushed. Like, literally, I was scared I was going to break the, uh, the, the wood panel itself. I was pushing so hard. So what I ended up doing was just grabbing some sandpaper. I was wondering if I could just kind of use a uh, wood smoothing technique to kind of file down some of that uh, plywood because it shouldn't be too hard, it's plywood. Uh, and fortunately that worked out. Um, so now in Big Blue and in the X-Men versus Street Fighter, we have uh, Sanwa sticks with Sanwa buttons for player one. And, and these are convex. Uh, and then I have the Sanwa style concave buttons that I mentioned liking in the previous video for player two. I didn't have enough Sanwa buttons for player one and player two uh, on hand. And I figured on the rare occasion that I have someone uh, playing the game with me here, that Sanwa stick with the Sanwa style concave buttons uh, will be adequate for them. Uh, but for player one, uh, for online play, I do have Sanwa in there now. I'm gonna show you guys the process for sanding the holes and then putting the uh, the buttons in without a drill and they fit snug, they fit great, they don't move and you can still get them out. So if you need to replace a button in the future, you'll be able to do it with this setup.
Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys some gameplay from Big Blue and from X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Uh, because as you guys know from previous videos, uh, execution is a big measure for me in terms of which buttons and sticks are best. For me, ball tops work great because again, most of the fight sticks come with ball tops and that's what I prefer to game with. So I know a lot of people have opinions on ball versus bat. I enjoy ball. Uh, and now I have my convex Sanwa buttons in there and execution wise, it just feels night and day difference. As you saw in the previous video, the American style buttons had uh, the worst execution, like their switch is super reliable. It's just so heavy that when I'm trying to do something fast, I'll sometimes not press it hard enough or I just press it too slow because I have to apply so much pressure to the American style button. So then I liked the Sano style uh, concave button for that reason, but just quality wise and execution wise, it wasn't consistent with my Victrix uh, sticks when I would play, you know, 30th anniversary edition. So I wanted to get those Sanwas in. I'm super stoked that the Sanwas are in there and the, execu the execution is night and day difference. All right, so we did it. And I have the ideal player one setup uh, that I've always wanted on these cabs. Uh, I've got my concave Sanwa buttons in there. Uh, again, the American style ones, they're just too stiff for me. Like I remember playing them on old cabs, uh, but after moving to kind of the, the high-end fight stick world for all, all the fighters I played past like 2008, I just got used to the Sanwa buttons and Sanwa stick. So now it just, I feel super comfortable on these. I feel uh, like I can execute really, really well. Um, so the American style buttons are actually my least favorite. I know some people really love those and very much prefer them to uh, the Japanese style buttons. So, uh, you know, if you're if you're in the market for some ILs, you know, go for it. If, if you know that you like those buttons better. For me, as a preference thing, they are my least favorite. It's the, I have the most inconsistent execution with those. Uh, imitation Sanwas that came with my main kit from Arcade Mod Up. Those ones are my second favorite. Uh, execution with them is fairly consistent. They're pretty comfortable to use, um, but they do feel a little bit mushy and they have a very uh, a very long actuation range. So even then you kind of have to press pretty far to, to get your input. Uh, and after putting the Sanwas in there, it just felt like, like being at home on a fight stick. Uh, the the Sanwa buttons, my execution was way better. It was super easy to do all the moves that I wanted to the right and to the left with those Sanwa buttons. Uh, so for me, those are going to be my player one configuration for all the arcade one, up, one ups I buy moving forward. All of the options of like popular sticks and popular buttons are much better 
than what comes stock on an arcade one up. So with the upgrades, you really can't go wrong. Uh, anything will be better than stock. Uh, but if you really want that kind of premium, super high end feel, I personally still love Sanwa and that's the one that I would recommend. And I'm super stoked that I finally have uh, Sanwa setups for the joystick and the buttons in player one uh, for, for both of these cabs. Yeah.